Well, as you know, these nuggets on storage are certainly not targeted at our DevOps world, but I wanted to have a little fun and show you just how easy it would be to use your favorite scripting language against S3. My favorite scripting language is Python, so let's do an example of this. Now, there will be nothing up my sleeve here. All I did to get ready for this demonstration was create a new EC2 instance called Management, and this is an Amazon Web Services Linux image. So I went in and did the Amazon Linux and just spun that up, and we're ready to go ahead and use this image to do some scripting. So here I've connected to that Linux image, and the first thing that you would want to do is let's make sure that we have Boto3 installed. Boto3 is the software, the SDK, that we're going to use in order to run Python scripts against Amazon Web Services. So we do a package installer for Python. So we do sudo pip install, and it's Boto3. We'll hit carriage return, and if you've done this command correctly, you'll see Bodo3 is installed, and you will not see any text in red indicating errors. Now, the next task for us to perform would be if we wanted to do any kind of management of Amazon Web Services from this Linux image. So we'll do AWS configure, and it walks us through a script here. It says, okay, what's the access key ID for your user account, and then it's going to want the secret. So I'll grab those off the clipboard and paste them in. Next up is my default region name, and we are in the US hyphen east hyphen one region. And for our default output format, we'll just hit carriage return to accept the default there. So there we go. We are returned to the Linux prompt and I'm in my home directory, so I'll go ahead and make a directory inside of that directory for, let's try that again, for a folder that we'll call scripts. So let's change into that scripts directory, and what we're gonna do is use our nano editor inside of that directory to create a script called make underscore bucket and we'll name this with a PY extension for our Python scripts. So we get into the nano file editor and we're ready to do our scripting. So I've pasted in the script that we're going to use and notice how simple it is. The first thing we do is import the Amazon Web Service System, then we import the Bodo3 that we're gonna call upon, and then we create a variable named S3 that's gonna to map to Bodo3 and the Amazon Web Service System resource of S3. We're then going to use our create bucket, and we're going to do this against S3, of course, and the bucket that we're going to create is going to be named python-mysample-ajsnetworking. We, of course, have to pay attention to all of our bucket naming. Just because we're scripting doesn't mean we can circumvent the unique naming and the rules that we need for bucket names. Then what I'm going to do with this script is for each and every bucket in the collection of buckets, I'm going to print the bucket name followed by the bucket creation date so we can get some nice verification out of this script. That's it. I'll do a control X on the keyboard and then I'll say, yes, I want to save my changes. And we're going to write the make underscore bucket dot PY script. That's it. We're done there. And now we are ready to run our Python script. So I'll say Python and I'm going to say make underscore bucket dot PY hit carriage return. And look at this, it must have worked, no errors. And we get all of these buckets that are in existence in our Amazon Web Services followed by the creation date. And look at right here, here is python-mysample-ajs networking and it's appropriate and proper creation date. This is so cool. I suppose we would want to verify this in the graphical user interface though, wouldn't we? So we'll go into Amazon's S3 and there it is, 
our Python MySample AJS networking bucket that we were able to create so easily, so efficiently with a Python script. Thanks to the APIs and the SDKs that are made available for us with Amazon Web Services, as you've seen in this nugget, it is going to be a snap to use your favorite scripting language to automate things within Amazon Web Services. I hope you found this nugget informative, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.